All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially entered the fourth quarter of the 2021-2022 Red Bluff Outlaw season, and we will be back in action tonight in the factory QRC number 18T for, I think, the sixth annual Vern Wheeler Senior Memorial. This is technically the highest pain point show of the season, $2,100 to the winner tonight, so all of us are obviously going to be gunning for that. I have a fan that wants to be in the video to start. What's your name? Macy. Macy has been my pill drawer. We had a rough go last weekend pulling a five, uh, so we started started fifth in the feature, but everything before that we've been on the front row. Take a quick look at the racetrack. It is extremely fast right now. They just ran the 250s, which quick time was an 8.5, which is normally almost what you would see in the open. So extremely juiced, a lot of grip. Uh, we have the pit meeting now, and then we're gonna be strapping in for uh, qualifying. So go out in the third group, gonna try to put it in the top five and just get our night started off there, and then uh, focus on the heat race. like the same story but a different week we are uh, watching qualifying right now currently sitting 10th I went out there in a uh, group three so there's only about 20 cars that have went right now so it's just not looking too good racetrack is extremely fast like I said earlier the 250s turn like record-breaking times almost and uh, the opens are doing the same thing they are almost in the 8-1 bracket I believe quick times in 8-2 at the moment and I'm a little bit off of that so I don't know I just needed to uh, I felt like I drove the car really good and one and two I just never got through three and four and how everything shook up I only got two laps instead of three so just a little disappointing we'll see where we end up hopefully it slows down but like I said racetrack's got some grip tonight and uh, a lot of speed well all the racing for the night has now began and uh, we are getting ready to roll out for our heat races so I always talk about making the inversion after qualifying in my class which usually it's the top 20 and that's how you start in the first two rows of your heat well I ended up 18th so I was able to sneak in but still uh, we got to be better qualifying a lot of it's just me behind the wheel and with how fast the track was tonight you know if you were a little bit off that was major so just missed it a little bit in three and four I felt like my laps through one and two I talked about were good but overall I just got to be perfect behind the wheel so now we're going to be heading out for our heat race starting on the pole as usual they're taking the top two to the a this is a uh, normal now that we're towards the end of the season you guys have really probably started to understand the format here but it's important to lead these laps in this heat race get out front and just try to get our race car better for later in the night persevered through a little bit of a rough qualifying run and was able to win our heat race from the pole. The racetrack's been like different every single week and the difference this week is usually the bottom's really good in the heat races but for some reason there's just so much grip up talk like I've been talking and then also with the banking and the bottom's also completely worn in so it's just a kind of a little bit of a train around the crease which is right in the middle part of the speedway. I kind of half slid myself through the first corner I knew it was going to be key to get to the top but not do anything crazy to get there if that 
make sense. I didn't want to do something that left the door open for the guys behind me as I did have a pretty stacked heat race and realistically any of the guys in there could have ran in the top two. And since we're kind of coming down to the nitty gritty, I'll be honest with you guys, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do literally everything I can. You know, we obviously are chasing a championship, but you just got to put all your results together and the rest of that will take care of itself. So rough qualifying run, bounce back with a good heat race win. I think we're going to start mid-pack for the A main event tonight since we did qualify deeper. Not sure if we're going to really make that top six redraw. A couple more heat races to watch, so we're going to finish watching that, check out the racetrack, and now kind of hang out until later in the night when we run again. All right, moving on. Well, the racetrack and the surface is now just really starting to shape up for the A-Main event. Uh, it's very similar to last week in the sense of how it got really, really slick, but it's not really on the verge of being abrasive and too hard on tires, but we were just a couple A-Main events away from the open class, which is 30 laps, 16 cars out there, so the surface is going to change a lot throughout that race. So we're kind of just setting up for where we're guessing the surface is going to be at the end. Yes, we need to be good early, but if we are good early and then we fall off after 10 laps, that's going to be a big problem. So we missed the redraw tonight. We were originally supposed to start seventh, then someone is going to now, uh, I think it's Jake Park, he elected to take the back row challenge from the pole, so that moves our row up and we are now going to be rolling off from fifth. Uh, racetrack though, as I mentioned, it's a little bit different tonight, it's really, really slick, a little bit rough, so there's uh, some character out there and now it's just going to come down to who can run the best race and uh, be there at the end to win $2,100.
has kind of just started to roll in here at Red Bluff. Uh, our night is complete and kind of, I guess, how last weekend ended. I don't really have anything great to say. This was, I think, the first feature all year that we two spun out of. We were involved in two incidents, so they kicked you off the track. But I don't know. I mean, our, our car just wasn't it wasn't great at the beginning. You know, I thought we'd be a little bit better, but the racetrack was just really good around the high side. The bottom wasn't great. And, um, you know, I started down there and I just was, it was so easy to spin your tires and not get going. And I was immediately trying to get to the high side. And, and just, unless I hit my line perfectly, I just felt like I was not necessarily too free, but whenever I got on the gas too much, the car just wanted to like immediately spin out. It was really snappy. That's a great way to describe it. It was just super snappy. And so probably about three times I almost spun out and then eventually on a restart, once I actually did get rolling, because I fell back to eighth, then I got rolling probably back up to fourth or fifth. A couple guys got together in front of me. We ended up three wide. I stepped on the gas to try to, you know, get off the corner, and I just spun out. And then from there, uh, hit a car going down into one, literally within half a lap, and you know, within half a lap, my whole race went to trash. So um, thanks to everyone that helped me in the hot pit. I came in to try to fix the right front as it got destroyed. But after that, I mean, like I said, my race was pretty much over. I was just trying to get as many points and cars um, as people were flunking out left and right. So. Not gonna lie, sometimes I absolutely hate this place. I love it, but I hate it. And just a night like this, it just beat us up. And you know, we just weren't in a great spot there. Uh, we were all right if we could have made it to the end, but like I said, our stuff just wasn't good enough early. Um, you know, we just we just needed some more laps. We needed more of a run, and, and the yellows weren't gonna help us. So racetrack was tricky, uh, but you know, the great thing about racing is this is what keeps us coming back is the adversity. So a couple rough nights, but we got two more races to finish off the season. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Jimmy Elledge and team and everyone that helped me. Uh, you know, I love racing with these guys, and like I said, sometimes you just you have those nights and you gotta bounce back from them. And uh, we got two races left, like I said, to finish off the season. So we'll see you guys on the next one. We are headed back to Southern Oregon.